Hello everyone, hello, and welcome back to our Shaolin talk. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so as you may know, um, this month our topic um, are, is lifestyle and travel. So we thought that it would be a great idea um, to explore this topic through cooking and through food mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so as you know as you know it's been really really hot um, I don't know whether you guys have experienced it out there but it's we've had in the UK nearly over 40 degrees is not even sure <laughs> over 40, it's been really really hot so we've been really struggling here in the UK and what we thought would be a great idea is to be able to um, give you some tips on how you can cool down during the summer period um, and we have the lovely Flora here, is going to join us. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Flora and now I'm coming back to Shaolin Talks again, it's a nice <laughs> studio, I love that. Um, and Flora is, is going to um, explain to us a little bit about her cooking experience. You had a great experience, didn't you? Oh yeah, Over. especially during quarantine before, from March until June, I think. Okay. Mm. Because you know, when you get alone by yourself, you're going to be very bored about everything. So you start to explore what you have and what you can make. Mm -hmm. And it's just oh, okay. like a very tiny experiment. And I started to ask my mom to research and what I can do, what I can cook, like bakery, wow. cooking. So that's the period I'm just focusing on cooking and that just gave me a really really good impression oh that's so nice yeah <laughs> and I uh, actually had the opportunity to go to Flora's house mm. and experience some of her cooking <laughs> and today we're gonna experience some of her cooking as well we've got five uh, five dishes five yeah we've got five dishes that she's prepared mm -hmm. um, and these dishes are going from the coolest no from the the least coolest. the least coolest yeah. all the way down to the the coolest dish that you and can have all my favorite food during really? summer yeah, yeah we had some great times preparing yeah. them didn't we <laughs> oh yeah it's, it's kind of it's very long time to prepare that so i'm really <laughs> excited to taste that yeah. So yeah. proper Chinese classics. Yeah. yeah. We've yeah. actually we've made them for you as well. Okay. Some of them are yeah. specifically well, for you. I can't wait. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, they all come from different areas in China. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So they, they're going to have a lot of background um, historical stuff. But I don't... So clear, but I can try to explore because before I made that, I did some research before as well. Oh, oh okay. I can't wait so to hear we, this. That's what we can explore once yeah. we try, right? Fantastic. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so before we do this top five dishes, mm -hmm. um, I thought it'd be quite a good idea to explain to you a little bit about the Chinese medicine yeah. side of, of, of the energetics of food, because mm -hmm. it's very different to how we consider food in the West. Mm. So when we think about food in the West, we think of it in terms of how much protein we're getting or how much carbohydrates or how fat, much calories. how many calories <laughs> you're having. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. yeah. So um, when we're looking at it from a Chinese medicine perspective, it's a little bit more different. So mm. we're kind of thinking it in terms of the energetics of the food. So. Well, I don't know whether you know those energetics out there. Do you know those no. energetics, those temperatures? Know. Yeah, it's like uh, different temperatures and different food. They have different representations of temperatures can can just fit to your bodies, your yeah, that's right. uh, organ cells. Well, I think you must know much them more than no, me. But it's, it's, you studied. <laughs> no, no, this is good. This is good. So you've got you've got a cold. Yeah. Any any others? Uh, cold. Hot. Hot, hot, yes, hot. <laughs> and warm. Hot. And warm, yeah. Cool. And cool, yeah. Yeah. Because so, when you are in different so you got seasons, whole, you different. Yeah. Hot, cold, warm, cool. Yes. Yeah. Just medium. Yeah. I think it's like warm, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So I think you have kind of four, four of them, four, mm -hmm. four different temperatures. Okay. Yeah, and it's like you said, mm -hmm. Flora. It really helps to it, these temperatures affect your body. Mm -hmm. So if you feeling very hot, mm. you can have foods that cool you down. So that's why we're doing our summer tips. Or if you are feeling really cold, you can have foods that generally tend to heat mm -hmm. you up. So maybe out there you've got some ideas of foods that can heat you up. Oh yeah, um, I think when I get very cold, especially after you um, get out of the rainy, no, get out from the rainy. Oh so, yeah, yeah. The rainy. So my mom will always cook me a ginger tea, ginger Ooh, porridge. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, Ginger's ginger really is really good to warm you up immediately. That's right. And it's gonna take out some 
cool stuff inside your body let it mm. out and you will not get sick anymore that is oh, correct yeah. yeah because ginger is a pungent it's actually a herb yes it's pungent mm -hmm. which means it disperses so it drives all the cold out of your yeah. body like you said and you will feel very sweat well that sweat mm. is really bad because you probably get get inside some cold inside your body yeah. so when they sweat out and bad stuff just yeah, it comes out with comes it. Comes out together. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. Yeah, ginger. <laughs> Ginger's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about co cold? Uh, cold like watermelon, mm. mung bean, which we yeah. have tasted. Oh yeah, mung yeah. We've got bean. some mung beans here. And <laughs> also like tof. I really like tof. What's that? Tof. Tofu. Tofu. Oh, cool. Tofu. That's tofu. That's, that's cool. Uh, yeah, like a cool cooling cool, food. Cooling food as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I guess are we having. A bit of everything or just cooling ones? Today, today, yeah. today because it's been super hot, yeah. we're just going to have, we're going to experience the cooling. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to, it's going to try and cool our body down. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's really, I think it's really interesting because the father of Western medicine obviously was Hippocrates and he said, let medicine be your food and food be your medicine. That's really nice good. Quote. It's a really That's nice really quote, yeah? yeah. So, so Martine, you just talked about obviously the temperature temperature of food yeah so but you also mentioned the flavor what's that all about the flavor yeah <laughs> flavor is really really important well it's important in Chinese Chinese nutrition therapy because the they have five five flavors um, I don't know whether you can guess what they are bitter bitter yeah uh, spicy yeah spice or pungent Sweet, 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 yeah. Salty, salty. Uh, sour, sour, and sour. Yeah. So there's these five, five fl uh, flavors. And you uh, know, these five flavors represent your life journey as well. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> they represent the five elements, the five seasons, the five journeys. Mm. The five organs. What's really important is it represents the five organs in your body. Oh. So each of these. Um, Flavors. flavors, thank you. Each of, these, <laughs> each of these flavors can have an impact on a different organ in your body, mm -hmm. yeah. and they also affect the energy inside your body as well. So some of those flavors has a different action. So like you said about ginger, yeah. it has a what's called a dispersing action. So mm. it basically makes the chi pushes everything out of the body. Things like ginger and so like and a pungent garlic. Flavor. Anything pungent, pungent, has a dispersing flavor. Yeah, or acrid. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, it disperses things out of the body, and also it's related to the lungs. Mm. Mm, yeah, mm. Um, if you have uh, something that's sweet. You know, I, I think when we crave sweet, we crave like things like sugar, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. When you're craving sweets. <laughs> and usually it's when you're feeling a bit tired and a bit run yeah. down, you crave sugar like all the time. You want energy. You want energy. Yeah. Yeah. So we kind of think of sweet things as being tonifying, so uh, and nourishing to your stomach and spleen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why sometimes when you have a big dinner, you might want to eat something a little sweet afterwards. Like a dessert. Yeah, because Oh, because you're like... Oh, yeah, a bit yeah. sluggish. And yeah, that's can't. it. It can make yeah, you happy okay. as well. Yeah, and it can yeah. make you happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All food can make you happy. Okay, yeah. so, so we got like pungent, sweet. So what about bitter? We just said bitter. Bitter, so was... bitter relates... Well, bitter, I suppose, is a bit like mm. coffee, you know, bitter yeah. taste. Bitter. And that, that has a really uh, great action on the heart. Um, and that has a draining... Bitter mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it drains <coughs> damp. I don't know whether you know what damp is. It's kind of a bit like muddy, stuck water inside mm. the body. That's how they see it in mm. Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. um, and phlegm as well. You know when you get that phlegmy cough or phlegm? Yeah. Yeah. So if you have something that's a bit bitter, it can help to drain the damp mm -hmm. from your body and the phlegm and helps to dry out dry the body out a little bit yeah, yeah? Cool. and the sour is an astringent mm -hmm. so astringent is kind of a bit like vinegar mm. uh, and salt um you know you get those salt cravings yeah that has an action on your kidneys and that has like a descending action mm. and it also it's quite interesting that it breaks down masses as well mm. so like cysts and things like that if you have a bit of salt that can kinda, help yeah it can yeah. really really help yeah and, and then you have like a neutral yeah, then you have flavor. one that's kind of neutral. And think when pe when chefs, because you know you can get really zen with this. Mm. And uh, if if you want to create the the perfect harmony dish, you know the yeah. perfect dish. Mm -hmm. What the um, Chinese chefs are trying to do is create a balance within of all those five flavors yeah. Yeah, yeah. in okay. one dish. Yeah. So yeah. Awesome. A, so you ever had a dish that was fully balanced or? 
Uh, I don't nope. know. Actually, actually, I prepared one. So it's not you like prepared one. Did you? Yeah, today I did. A, well, probably not five included. The cucumber. Mm, yes, yes. Spicy. I, li I add a little bit sweet later. Yeah. Sweet salt. And vinegar. A vinegar. Sour. Yeah, you had all of it. Probably bitter. No. And bitter. Maybe a little bit. Probably bitter. a little bit because the cucumber itself yeah, is just bitter. a little bit bitter. So Ooh. you will have. A so that's little quite little interesting. So that we can later on. Yeah, yeah it's going to awesome. be really cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, Actually, saying that, mm. Flora, mm -hmm. I, I think it wouldn't it be really great if we show our viewers what it was like to actually go to your house yeah. and <laughs> see it was a really great experience. So um, I think we're going to... And Janine, I want I you to, I want you to footage, see it. Don't you? You yeah, I want you footage, to see yeah. what actually happened when yeah. we went over to Flora's house. Yeah, I really so. want to see you. <laughs> our, our guess it was really messy. It was. It, it was <laughs> like when I got older stuff. No, it was it's really okay messy. because Martin teach me a lot of kung fu mixed with cooking because <laughs> I do need her help to help me cook this because sometimes you need to mix uh, using some kung fu. Oh, yeah. I see. But okay. I did. I did trash her house. No, no, no. <laughs> I got it's food it's everywhere. Fine. <laughs> but we will see. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. let's watch it. Shall we watch those clips now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's, let's watch go. it now. I'm going to show you a cucumber dish. Well, I'm going to tell you a very special but simple way to make cucumber taste delicious in the summer. Okay, let's start to do that. But I'm going to introduce you some ingredients first. We need some spring onion, look, and some chili, and garlic, of course, and other sauce. Now we're going to start to cut the green spring onion first. So you might see this green onion is going to be really huge so we can cut in the middle just to make it smaller Okay, you need a bowl and you put the spring onion inside the bowl. Depends on you how much chili you can eat. Here I'm gonna cut five little chili. chili I'm going to cut garlic so it will depend on you how much garlic you can use you know ch making Chinese dishes is not going to be so difficult to measure like, how much ingredient you need to use it all depends on how much you like to eat here I like garlic so I'm gonna eat. Ingredient ready. Now we're gonna prepare the sauce. So for the sauce, here are the things that we need. We need chicken powder and 
and salt and chili sauce. This sauce I made by myself. I think probably next time I'm going to show you the recipes, but not this one. We need it. That's really nice. And some um, pretty nice, I don't know what it's called. It's called nutrition. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Um, pure seasoning oil. Seasoning oil. And this is soy sauce. And this is vinegar. Okay. Now, all we need to do is just put salt. A little bit. Doesn't matter how much. You can adjust later as well. Powder. Now, add it a little bit seasoning oil. Mmm, smells nice. And some soy sauce. it first can you smell mm. okay we need more oil we need a bit more oil good I think that's enough we can we mix it mm. it smells so good I cannot wait to taste Okay, here is the sauce that we finished and now is the final step. We're going to cut the cucumbers. Let's just put away and let's start to cut the cucumbers. And there is a little tips. You don't need to peel all of them, just a little bit. I'll show you. Look. Just in between. Okay, now what we're going to do is using this knife. Shouting oomph. Okay, now cut in between. cucumber if you want two or if you want to make for families you can cut two or three or four now I'm gonna get this one put into the pot it could be a large bowl the sauce It's actually, it's okay. Oh, wow, that's really good. Mm. Can I have another one? Yeah, of course. Because mm. I think it's really good. The cucumber, the cucumber can make you very cool, but mm. the spicy can make you inside hot get out. Mm. So it's mixed. Yeah, it's kind of like 
Yeah. Oh, you it's cannot really stop fun. eating. No, I really. I want some more. Let's have more. Let's have more. Let's have more. Okay. Oh, that's really good. Nice. Mm. You definitely got to try and make this at home. Because I mean, it's easy, isn't it? It's really simple. Super, super simple. I just saw you make it. So so simple to make. You just need some um, ingredient like salt, powder, mm. salt, and you cut it, mix it. That's it. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you seem to have a lot of fun today. <laughs> yeah, right? we did. Yeah, we fun. did. We okay. Did. So really um, cool. <laughs> this video really made me really hungry now, right? Oh, really? Yeah. Hungry, Janine. So I want Feed to try up. some. Yeah. Well, definitely bring. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. so what's the first one? Okay. So we're gonna do. We're now gonna do our top five countdown mm -hmm. for these cold dishes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So number five, we <laughs> have. Liang <laughs> Pi. Okay, how do you <laughs> cold noodle? Cold noodles. Yeah. So the first one is cold noodles, Liang Pi. Okay, yeah. we have Melody. Hi, Melody. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, Whoa. this is it. Okay. Yeah, this is Wow, it. look at this. Okay, so Whoa. who wants to try first? You. Jenny. You're the hungry uh -oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, let's, so yeah, you let's do, you do this. I'm, I'm probably really messy, you know. Okay, so I can. So see, how did you make this? And what so is it? So I can see we have some cucumbers here, cucumbers. right? You know, do you know how long this took to make? Okay. It took oh. a full whole day. It took like a day. whole prepare, day. Prepare in advance. Okay. We had to like. So let me let me try this. We had to make dough, mm. and then we had to wash the dough yeah, wash loads the dough. of times. It mm. took ages. And you need ages. to wait um, until that you get something like a liquid like? that you start to make. Oh, so it's a bit spicy. Mm. Yes. Is it? Mm -hmm. Because you mix it with the chili uh, sauce, which yeah. I made by myself. And uh, Ooh, that's yeah. this one, we fried it, steamed it, and you take out, it's just like a transparent stuff. It's Is really that hot? Very nice. Yeah, it's good. Really? I like it. <laughs> it's I quite like interesting it. how you have like a spicy food, <laughs> yeah. but it cools, cools you down. It down. That's weird. Can I try? Yeah, yeah, of course. Try it. I mean, I did try quite a lot of this already, <laughs> to be <laughs> fair. <laughs> we were just scoffing our faces, really. Okay, let's try a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Spicy, mm. spicy. Oh, yeah. that is seriously hot. I think, I think soon you will get sweat. <laughs> Don't sweat a lot. <laughs> mm. okay. Really? Is that so spicy? It's really nice. I probably, I can eat spicy. So yeah, you could do I, I, I think you should have like, like loads of it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not used to it, isn't it? But yeah. I, I quite like it. It's, it's nice. 
It's mm, nice. Sour. Because I put some vinegar inside. And as you well. put some vinegar in okay. as well. Yeah. But it's Ooh, like, oh, nice. I like this. I like that spicy anyways. It's quite okay. spicy for me, but I, I do, oh. I do like the cold noodles. I like that. I like that, uh, that when you, feeling. When you when you feel very hot, you probably want to have some cold food. But yeah. that cold food is 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 makes you makes you feel spicy, but actually can make you sweat as well. Yeah, so it's really good to get you. Cold okay, down. so it's it's a bit like if you if you look at this is obviously Chinese cold noodles. Yeah. It's like sometimes, um, like it reminds me a bit of noodle salad, isn't it? It's a bit like yeah, noodle salad yeah. as well. Like okay, from yeah, that, like yeah. <laughs> noodle salad. Noodle salad, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, I, I really like it this. It's really, nice. really nice. I remember having this in China, and mm -hmm. we used to escape from the the kung fu <laughs> kung fu class <laughs> escape, run down the road, and go and have the uh, peanut noodles. Yeah. Oh, peanut yeah. with cucumber. It's yeah. really similar to that. Well, normally um, uh, really I need, I need to put some peanut on the bottom, but I used all the peanut to do, to make Ooh. another. Oh one, right. So that's why I used all of it, but I just put okay. some cucumbers. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm. So that? when you when you were doing your when you were doing your cooking, yeah. what what kind of benefits did you get out of doing your cooking? Uh, I just really relaxed it when I was mixing the flowers with water. Mm. You, you, I, I didn't know if you have that feeling because you were. Yeah, it was really squidgy, wasn't it? it was yeah, kind of very therapeutic. And especially when you were washing the uh, the, the dough. Yeah. Yeah, and you, ah, it's becoming like a soy bean uh, milk yeah. or something. Mm. It smells yeah. really nice, and you just relax it down, and you started to. Imagine what kind of food that you can produce, yeah, and from the beginning until the end. Yeah. It's like making a food. Cooking is a really artistic way. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like an expression and yeah, kind of yeah. creative and meditative yeah. as well at the same time. Yeah, yeah. and kitchen is also Ooh, my okay. laboratory as well. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Really and also it's like your laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> Doing some experiments. Hey, so that's good. Yeah. So not just when you eat, uh, not just when you prepare the mm -hmm. food, isn't it? So you prepare, mm -hmm. um, and you have a bit of a ritual when yeah. you prepare. So, but there's also, we also got a tip if, when you eat the food, right? So, yeah. to, what are you, you've oh, got one. That's don't it, you? yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. So, basically, how you, how you eat food is, is equally Pretty. as important as what you're eating. So, we want to give you some really great tips on how to eat well. So, we're going to go give you some tips. My first tip for you, how to eat well, is... Number one, you have to remember that your stomach does not have teeth. That means, <laughs> that means you need to chew your food. Yeah, you must chew, really, really chew your food well. Yeah, so your stomach and spleen has a really good opportunity to break your food down. So chew your food well and eat slowly. Yeah. That's my first okay, tip. Okay, good. Oh, good. I think we're ready for the next dish. Yes, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you're hungry. <laughs> you're so hungry. Okay, so yeah. before we take this away, what are the benefits of this dish? Uh, just you don't need to make uh, to eat some hot food. Just you can take anywhere yeah. after you're making this. Mm. Are there any health benefits to this? Yeah, of course. Can cool down. This is the first thing. Okay, number one, cool, it'll cool down, down your cool system. Down, and second one, <laughs> make you full, of course, but also have nutrition because you made by yourself. Yeah, and this is yeah. quite nutritional, isn't it? It's uh, got, of course, you know, it's, it's quite veg healthy. And it's good for veg vegetarian. Uh, vegetarian. 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 Vegan as well. Oh, this vegan? is vegan. This vegan. is vegan. Oh, yeah. See? Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, this is really healthy. Okay, let's yeah. move on to our next dish. Yes. Okay, dish number four is cucumber meals <laughs> <laughs> well we call it the pai huang gua that means okay, uh, you clap this cucumber but that's a way of making that Ooh. look it's... now i have to say <laughs> this this is my favorite this is your I, favorite i really your really number like. one Martin, i really like <laughs> i eat a lot All and right. i'm surprised there's actually anything left here for you because <laughs> okay let's try this one then yeah. so okay this is so we already got some yeah. um they have stickers. spikes here so this is savory so, this is a savory yeah. so dish do i need to tuck this in here a bit like this yeah i don't know this and is have some some other okay. stuff i mixed it this. already yeah oh, okay oh. okay mm. 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 This is very nice. Mm. What's it taste like? Like cucumber, very <laughs> cool, and but it is spicy as well. 
because the sauce is really spicy. So, so what's in it? It's my special sauce. Well, I mix it with several in ingredients mm. like salt, mm. uh, chicken powder, okay. and some vinegar and chili sauce, which I made specifically, and some seasoning oil. Sesame, sesame oil. oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I can taste that together. too. Yeah. Oh, mm. and also uh, spring onion, <coughs> garlic, and some Ooh. real chili. Oh, mm. so it's got all of the flavors inside this. This is actually my favorite. I okay. really, really like this one. <laughs> so you want to go? <laughs> Have a go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. Hang on a second. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna try another one. <laughs> I'm gonna get up. That's pretty I really love this. It's actually quite <clears throat> hot. Hot, yeah. Mm. But um, I really like it because it's really cold, mm. but really hot at the same time. Hot, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's got a really um interesting, interesting mix. mix. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. a really interesting mix, and all the balance of the flavors together. Mm. I really love this one. This is really delicious. Okay, mm. so this obviously is another cooling dish. Mm. Yeah. So do we have any other health benefits to this? Uh, it gets actually, this is going to be, op uh, it's going to make you feel you want to eat more because oh, okay. it's good because I add some vinegar inside. Mm. Oh, yeah. So the vinegar is good for your stomach to mm. eat more. So normally while we're eating this, it's gonna be the first few meals before you eat in a real meal like a rice. So it's yeah. gonna be like the starting. Yeah, like appetizing yeah, or something. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna be good for you to eat better and well because for some people, yeah. like they cannot eat very well, especially yeah. the after they're sick or something. Yeah. So it, it, this is really So that's cool. really cool because we, we just said earlier to chew your meal to take your time so i think our second tip for this is like to relax right yeah, to relax yeah, yeah, yeah. when you eat that's so important so mm. it's usually i mean nowadays we're in a really fast environment we eat on the go in we front just, of the tv yeah we just or, take on it on your we're phone not, we're not uh, even sitting down <laughs> so i think one one uh, another real tip uh, from us is to relax Basically, to sit down, maybe have, that's all, have yeah, friends around, yeah. right? And then just um, They're really gonna take you your digest. time, take your time to, to eat. Well, in China, yeah. meal, when you're having a real meal, it's going to be a social time for you and your friends. Yeah. Because you cannot be rushed. Because when we are sitting down together, that's just like a ritual. Because that's the time for you and your friends. To the people who mm. share the meals with you, that's going to be really important. So we cannot mm. rush it. Yeah. And I think, well, this kind of food, like starting some stuff it's gonna be good like you said relax yourself mm -hmm. and get ready your stomach ready body ready to start a real meal mm -hmm. brilliant Ooh, okay so what's okay. the next one okay next one <laughs> okay so number three three okay number three is <laughs> now this is <clears throat> this is a bit weird <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit weird it's called taro ball taro ball or aka Grass jelly. jelly. Like, is this literally jelly. made of grass? Uh, wow. It, the, 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 Whoa, look at that. The stuff mm. name, name uh, the stuff is grass, but actually you can mix it by yourself. If That's real original ingredient, but actually I didn't make that by grasses. Okay, so, so what's in there? What's the it? black stuff? <laughs> the black stuff is grass jelly. Grass jelly, And it yeah. grass. tastes like a, a grass, smells like grass, okay. but that's oh real grass. Maybe. So what, what's the white bits then? The white is taro. Tar okay, and the yellow bits? Yellow is... is it's the same. It, no, it's fruit. Fruit. Oh, okay. Fruit. Like a, so it's pineapple. It's like a bit of Before pineapple. I taste this, mm -hmm. do I have everything in one go? Um, like together? Or do no. I just pick one out? Pick the... Uh, Grass the, jelly. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> pick the white one, the taro balls. The white one. Yes. So I have this one first, yeah? Yes. Ooh, I think okay. I recommend you to eat by spoon because you can uh, oh, mix it with okay. the coconut milk. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, so I do this yeah. together, yeah? Yeah, together. Okay, let, let me take this what the I whole just had going some, on here. Uh, sauce, <laughs> coconut milk sauce. Oh, the sauce yeah, here yeah, as well. So, oh, okay. And you can eat with wow. the grass jelly together and, and the taro balls. The can you get one. it all on the spoon, Janine? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm get the spoon in my mouth, isn't it? Taro balls? Or this the, one? Yeah. Okay. The, the pearl ball. Oh my god, we're going to be here all day. Oh, this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, I'll try this one yeah. now. Okay. And get some sauce. <laughs> and some sauce, yeah. I need mm -hmm. some sauce. Yeah. Okay. So this is a sweet dish. Okay. Sweet dish. Sweet. I like Half sweet, so yeah. let, let's okay, try let's this. Uh, I'll do it all in one more. Let's see. Mmm. 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 Mm. And mm. Mm. wait, we are we we're, we're waiting. <laughs> What's it like? You just said chew, so I need to taste it first. Mm. Yeah. No, it's it's so it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, okay, it's um, nice. It, it's it's <laughs> like a it's like a dessert. So I would eat this for dessert actually. Yeah, you so, eat it for yeah. dessert. It's dessert. It's dessert. Yeah. Dessert. So yeah. how how did you how did you make this? Uh, normally, uh, can I can I try it as you're talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You okay. can try it first. Okay, okay. Let's have a look. Okay, let me put this back. Here. Oh, okay, so this is the actual. This is the bit that Terrible cools you down. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'll try this bit first. Yes. Yeah, that's good. It's, it's a bit jelly in your mouth, but not too jelly, jelly. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's good. That get more. Mm. The grass jelly is a little bit bitter. Oh, it's really. Oh, that is quite bitter, isn't it's it? Bitter yeah, it's absolute, quite bitter. Yeah, it's bitter, but good for your health. Mm, I bet because that... I didn't mix it with the sugar. It's mm. a really good. Okay. That one's going to be really yeah. good for your. So this one heart. is sweet and the bitter a little bit. So you need to drink. Oh, okay, so you have a bit of, of. This is pineapple. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so is this the one that has like a bit of everything in there? Mm. Like a bit bitter, a bit sweet, a bit sour. Sour, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're not eating this. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you're not eating I, 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 this. I, I, well, because you, you, you were eating, Martin. <laughs> mm. How is it's it? Really it's really nice. It's, it's nice. really nice. Because mm. when yeah. you put it into the fridge and it's gonna be cold. Well, after you get off, uh, get from outside. Mm. So if you have like a dessert, well, that's super nice. It's better than you just drink the um, yeah. like Coca Cola or those stuff yeah. because that's all very natural. And look at that. Gosh, did you jelly. make? Did you make that one? No. Actually, who made, who made Melody? that? Oh, Melody. Well Melody. Mmm, <laughs> that was a really nice Melody. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Melly made that one, yeah. uh, but I'm just watching the help of her. Do you okay. do you have any um, tips for people when they're eating their their meal? Do you have any good tips to tell oh, people? Oh yeah, I used to have a really bad habit, but my mom told me you cannot do that. So my tips is you always need to dr separate drink and eat. Whoa, okay, oh yes, yeah. yes, I yeah. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I've heard this yeah. one before yeah, as well. It's we not so good, but as thing. a child, you know, especially you don't know much about eating habits, and you always like. When you when you're eating, you always want to drink. Otherwise, yeah. uh, mm. but actually the stomach cannot tolerate that much. Yeah. And I would I would prefer now to eat first and then drink after. Mm -hmm. After probably like a 15 or 20 minutes after you eat, then mm -hmm. you can start to drink some yeah. water or even like other drinkings. So yes. Yes. No, don't, okay, don't drown a, drown your food. That's a there. really good tip as it's well. Really cool. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and this one has like liquids in it as well, doesn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. so, so yeah. that's why. That <coughs> well. I just regard this as a as a summer meal, yeah. especially nice. in the it's very as, a, as a as a dinner yeah. meal. So I don't need I don't eat too much, especially in summer when I'm so hot. Yeah. And actually, the it's quite light, isn't it? It's, oh, yeah. it's sweet, quite a light it's sweet. Dish. which means that if it's sweet, it must be tonifying. But you don't need to add it sugar much. You can control yeah, yeah. that mm. because I add a little bit of sugar. So yeah. it's but you you don't need to add it. I think so, I think it's important yeah. like to say um, to say to you guys out there a little bit of something is really good for you but, but obviously much. if you have <laughs> too much of it it's not great so yeah. a little bit of sweet is okay if you have a lot of sweet that's going to really mm. have a you know a, a bad effect bad on effect your on stomach and spleen yeah so i would recommend you just eat like once or twice a week if you really like this not eat yeah. every day okay that's not so good i think that's the same yeah. for every type of yes. food really yeah. it's just everything in moderation yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay yeah. so okay number two <laughs> oh, countdown number two <laughs> I'm getting quite full now. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff. Okay. okay, so okay. number two is mung bean cake. Mung bean cake. Yeah. Mung beans mung beans in a cake. Oh, I've heard so much about mung beans. I actually beans, love right? mung beans. Everyone's yeah. talking about mung beans. Mung beans are, are really, really great for you because yeah. they are they cool your body cool your down. Body. Okay, so and they so, really cool you down. So this just looks a bit like a cake to me, yeah. Mm, <laughs> so I didn't use a mold; I just used <laughs> a square mold. It looks like mm, very large, but if you use another mold, 
And that one looks very cute, but that okay. tastes good. Mm. Okay, it looks so like yeah. cheese. Let's yeah. try this now. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it's um, gonna be really fragile. You can just use hand, right? Or you just, can pick up your hand. Yeah, you can just, yeah, just do it like this. Uh oh. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Try it. So we've got like a little cheese cube. Looks like a cheese cube, but <laughs> all let's see <laughs> beans. Yeah. <laughs> This is like beans. Mm. I love making this one. It reminds me of this moon cake, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Moon cake? I said that, mm. yeah. For well, moon cake, mm. you need a lot of other sweet ingredients, mm. but this yeah. one is all mixed with beans. Yeah. It's just yeah. natural. I think this is quite filling as well, yeah. I think, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this. Okay. This is a really nice cake, <laughs> and it's natural. Do you? Do you sometimes put like a sauce on top uh, or uh, no, just, just like this? Just like this. But sometimes mm. I will, uh, because when I'm in my hometown, mm. I'm gonna mix with some flowers, like roses, like oh, pieces okay. to mm. mix it together mm. and it smells like mm. flowers. But oh. this is the original taste. Mm. Yeah, I think this sometimes you, you just need the original taste. You can mix uh, to eat with a cup of tea mm. and especially Chinese people like green teas a little bit bitter so yeah. you can just eat sometimes kind together with some sweet stuff compliments yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I can see this with tea that's good yeah yeah, huh? yeah. try <laughs> <laughs> try eat eat <laughs> okay I have a little tiny bit here because I've, I've already eaten loads of this today <laughs> like literally yeah okay mm. let's try this one try Mm. <laughs> this is like this feels like you you eat this before you go on a journey, you know. Mm. It was like yeah, I can't believe that. I can't believe that is a bean. Yeah. It's, it's literally like beans. So is this? Does this That's give so you cool. lots of energy as well? Mm. Yeah, of course. yeah. Mm. It's bean. Mm. No, it's protein. Good. It's like a serious <laughs> amount of protein, isn't it? It's good for vegan as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, I, I think mung beans are great because it's super nice. You know, if you've got a lot of heat in your body, like for example. Sometimes if people come into the clinic and they've got like skin problems or they've got a lot of acne or something mm. and You can always say to them as like a lifestyle thing. Why don't you cook yourself up some mm. mung beans? Mm. And I always recommend to them. Oh, you know, you should make some mung bean soup Which actually <laughs> when you make mung, have you tried mung bean soup? Uh, of course I try mung bean, <laughs> mung bean <laughs> porridge as well. Yeah, it well, the way I make it, it doesn't actually taste that <laughs> nice. It tastes really just well, like just need sludge. To <laughs> yeah, but this now I can I can say okay. Well, you can make some mung bean cake. cake you know, mm. this is a little bit more appetizing than my yeah, mung bean it's more like sludge a cake. Yeah, mm. if yeah, you like a dessert a... and you also wants to keep healthy, I want to cool yourself down, mm. and this is the best choice I recommend. So, how long does this last? Oh, it's Usually. really easy. You should, but you need to prepare the ingredient mm -hmm. like mung beans. You need to put into the water over one night. But otherwise, when you get done, it's almost mm. going to take you like one hour mm. or less than one hour because you need to steam that for around 30 minutes. First. It's so easy to make. Yeah. We were really making easy. it together, just like, like that. You just like mashed potato. Mash oh, right. blah, 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 blah. Literally like that. <laughs> yeah, and then it just cool. sets. Mm. That's so cool. Okay. Just start to fry it mm. and mix it with some water. Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. mm. So, what what is our well health eating mm. tip for this so i i had a really good idea because mm. um i know i don't know whether you've heard about this in your childhood did your mom ever ever say to you don't eat things straight from the fridge oh of mm. course mm. you need to when you eat before you eat that you need to let it get a little bit warm like room temperature body cannot tolerate so much too hot or too hot too mm. cold or too hot it's yeah good so yeah. we'd say we would say um one, one really great health tip is if, especially when it's really, really hot, mm -hmm. is, you know, even though you're feeling really hot, you don't, you know, drink really cold things from the fridge because it can give you a really bad stomach. So I would say something like that, but maybe some of the health benefits of this dish. Mm -hmm. So this is obviously, this is tonifying. This would yeah. be tonifying because yeah. it's sweet. So it would really help to tonify your yeah. stomach mm -hmm. and spleen. Your stomach, yeah. Mm. You can put anything into, else. You can put into the fridge. Mm. And you know, mung bean is already cool, but mm. if you put it in the fridge, it's double cool. <laughs> so it's okay. double cool. But it's really healthy cool. <laughs> it's okay. And you look cool when you eat it. Uh, yes. so like, triple cool. And you feel cool, smell cool. It's cool. And look cool. <laughs> And okay. it's cool. <laughs> awesome. I can't wait for number one. I'm not feeling cool. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, shall we do number one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys. So this is the coolest dish this we have. This is the super yeah. coolest, <laughs> coolest dish ever that you could ever have. Okay. Um, and this dish is called... Ice jelly. Ice, Ice jelly. <laughs> jelly. Yeah. Ooh. What is have this? Melody. What oh is my. that melody? Melody, what is so, that? So I need, I need a spoon again for this, right? Yes. So what we have here, we have some um, liquid jelly. Yeah, we have liquid jelly. We have uh, pin peanuts and oh, some peanuts. Peanuts. Other nuts. Yes. And so what's the yellow bits? The yellow is mango. Mango. Yeah. Mango. Slices. Mm. And these are another fruit. Mm. I don't know what I can say. I I, I don't remember. But marshmallows. I don't know. Tapioca. Is it, is it tapioca? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tapioca. <laughs> I think it's right. So. <laughs> So oh, this looks yeah, you just mix it together. I mix it together, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Put some soup. So, so you I, just mix it. You just mix oh, I mix the whole. Mix oh, I need to I mix. So it. I didn't see you make this one. Uh huh. So wait. But this is one you make. You, you you had it in the fridge setting. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me let uh, me you, grab you, a bit you of need to, uh, bit, uh, Grab a little bit more jelly. <laughs> oh what? Like this? Yeah, because oh. jelly is really cool. It tastes like meat. Oh okay okay. Look, you can see it's it's. it's it looks a bit strange, you know. Um, I'm a bit afraid to eat this. <laughs> but so far, um, everything was quite good on here, yeah? Mm. So it, I hope this is number one and the best. Okay, so. So this is the coldest. I, I do this all in one, I think. <laughs> go, go. Yeah, like a, yeah, like like a <laughs> shot thing. <laughs> and. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> What's it like? Crunchy? No, it's very, it's really good. So yeah, the jelly is quite it's the cooling bit. Mm -hmm. And then you feel the sweetness of the mango and then the crunchiness of the nuts. Mm. And it's yeah, it's quite it's a good, good yeah? combination. Yeah, I like the combination. It's lovely. Oh, I, I yeah, try, try it. it. Try You're, it. Selling it. Mm. You're selling it. You're selling it. I can't remember which one. This is my spoon, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I love yeah. it. Okay, so wow. let's try this one. This bit. This one. You need more jelly. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, need to. You need yeah, to you need to. You need you to. We're live. It's gonna go everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use that another spoon. I didn't use it. <laughs> okay, right. It's here we go. Let's put. Oh, you know, you have to like put quickly. <laughs> Come on, Martine. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. We don't have forever. <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna use my finger. Okay, here we go. Mmm. How was it? That's really good. Yeah. Mm. That was one of my favourite. <laughs> okay. Mm. That's really, no. really nice. Oh, I actually really like the, the, need jelly, the jelly part. Jelly. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's really no, I think it's the, the flavour, like mm. the mixture of everything together, it's like mm. an That's explosion really nice. in your mouth, isn't well, it? Mm. Just That's because really we, nice. we, we share this, if you have like your own mm. meal, you need mm. to mix it first mm. and you start yeah. to do that. That would be better because mm. now I just talk, uh, put all the ingredients or nuts on the top and on the like but no, the top, right? Mm. So when you eat it, you cannot get a lot of that mixed. So this is this is a proper dessert, right? This mm. is like it's um, yeah. Oh, it's really nice, actually. That's really really nice. Do you feel any yeah. cooling, cool feelings? I do actually. Oh, I am like starting that. to cool down a little bit now. Oh. It's really straight. I don't know whether it's psychological, but I, I actually <laughs> do feel like I'm starting to cool down a bit. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. Yeah. And I think this is quite a good. Um, um, like last dish, right? Because yeah. also for um, for eating well, you want um, not to shove it all in. Right? Which is what I would do so, if you yeah, put this down yeah, in front of me. You just don't yeah. go like, oh, and then, you know, sometimes people, I see people, they, they eat and eat and eat because they're really, really hungry and then they go like, oh, I'm so full, mm. I'm, I feel really, really sick, you know? So I think this is one of our tips as well. Um, obviously don't rush <laughs> and um, stop before you actually fall mm. so um, if if you're too full then uh, your uh, stomach can't really handle it yeah. so uh, stop before you fall because you, your stomach is still digesting and mm. um, your stomach will feel full mm. um, afterwards mm. you have to imagine that your stomach's a bit like a melting pot mm. so <clears throat> you want to make if you you know if you find that like that you have um 
things like uh, difficulty eating so when you're eating you might get something like bloating mm -hmm. or something like that you have a problem with your digestion then you want to give your stomach a, the least amount of effort as possible so if you do if you do find that so that by by not mm. eating so much you know you're not taxing your stomach as much you know if you <clears throat> For example, if you put in foods that are just slightly warm, um, that is going to help the digestive system mm. than if you put something raw in. So if you put something raw in, your body has to try and uh, heat it up, break it down. It's a lot harder to digest. So if you have a weak stomach and spleen, mm. then you know if you put in foods that are a little bit easier to digest, that's going to make it a lot easier for you. And you can, over time, you're mm. able to build that energy up in your stomach and then, then you can eat whatever you like, basically. Yeah. 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 Damn, that's cool. I, so yeah, this, this has been quite a really cool experience, you know. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed. I, it. I haven't, I haven't uh, basically tried any of these before. Oh really? And I like all of them. Oh, what is your favorite one? <laughs> uh, I think this might be my favorite one. This is the top. Um, mm -hmm. I also like the. Um, Tara Wolves. The mung white. No, the mung beans I like as well. Terrible. Yeah, the the white. Oh, you like desserts? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a dessert person anyway. So. <laughs> well, that's really easy. Yeah. After watching yeah. this, um, uh, you know, the videos that we shoot in my house, I think yeah. I'm sure that you can make it. By so, so um, where where can they get the stuff? Yeah, where did you get yours from? Thanks to Yabrazing. And when I ask them, can I get this, can I get that, they will yeah. try their best to provide this to me and I can buy that yeah. very, yeah. very conveniently. Yeah. So you yeah. just went in there with your ingredients list, yeah, said like, I want to make this and this and this, no, I need yeah. this Actually, and this and this. Actually, they have a really good service. Yeah. When I ask them, can I get that, can I get that, because mm. that was a quite large shop I cannot find properly within a very limited mm -hmm. time. So I was like, oh, do you have this? And they were really happy to offer me and to point out this stuff. It's that position ah. so I can get there really easily. Oh. So no, it's great. It's a fantastic place and you can find yeah. all kinds of stuff there, can't you? Mm -hmm. And not just Chinese food, you can find um, all different types of Asian food. And I think we had quite a good meal today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah so we, we can finish we it all, in a minute. <laughs> uh, cool down a bit because uh, it wasn't another hot day. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, maybe can, can we have a quick summary of um, of things we did today. So basically, we learned about different characteristics of food. Yeah, we learned about right? the energetics so of the food. Energetics, yeah, exactly. So they the have different and flavors, different temperatures. Mm. They have different benefits for your body. Mm -hmm. And it's um, a bit different viewpoint than Western yeah. uh, food. It, how we see western food uh, we can use the food basically we can mm. use the food to help balance our body so for yeah. example if your body's a little bit out of imbalance in a different organ or a different mm -hmm. area you can use the food to help to yeah just to balance everything awesome. out really yeah. and then we also obviously we tried five delicious dishes mm -hmm. and we also given you five accompanying um tips on how to eat well yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hope you kind of take some of this on board. Try it out. Um, yeah, join your friends, invite them around, make the stuff, eat the stuff, yeah. Yeah. come yeah. together. And um, also, obviously, we are doing this whole thing as a uh, charity project, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a, a community project. And um, we obviously want to do more of this. So if you interested if, yeah, you if you hooked you, you, <laughs> um, it. you can you can get in touch with us mm -hmm. and see if you want to get involved so we have our youtube channel so you can subscribe onto our youtube channel yeah. uk shaolin we also have a uh, social media as well so we have other channels yeah. that you can look on so things like facebook or instagram um, and you can get like janine said you can get in touch with us and you can send us your messages and pictures and let us know what you thought um, you can leave yeah. your comments on there and uh, we'd be really happy to yeah. get back to you and uh, share that with the yeah. community. Yeah.
Cool. So brilliant. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. I think that's the end of our talk yeah. today, isn't it? Yeah, I've really enjoyed myself. I'm really <laughs> too. I'm really full now. <laughs> Me too. I would like to go to you guys. Yeah, you'll have to come oh, back again. You see? <laughs> I think you need to come back. <laughs> we need to taste well, more. The next time, I'll make more, to new, yeah, more to explore. More to explore. Okay, guys, I hope you really enjoyed yourselves today. I know I have. So, um, and hopefully we will see you next time, next week on our talk. At uh, the same time on Saturday at 11 o'clock. Um, 12 o'clock? 12? 12 o'clock. <laughs> um, and we will see you then. Okay, thank okay. you so much for watching. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.